The Gloucestervent Helix is a complete anaesthetic system designed for use in areas where there are limited or no compressed medical gases and where electrical supplies are unreliable, intermittent or non-existent. The system consists of four main elements. The first element is a low resistance vaporizer and breathing system which allows the patient to operate in continuous flow or in draw over mode. The second is an efficient gas driven ventilator suitable for adults and paediatric use that is located on the swing arm. The third element is an oxygen concentrator that produces medical oxygen and air from the atmosphere. The fourth element is an uninterruptible power supply and battery backup support system which will provide power to the system if electrical power fails. The Diamedica Drawover Vaporizer is a low resistance vaporizer which will suit drawover anaesthetics or continuous flow. The vaporizer can hold up to 150 mil of anaesthetic agent and the level of agent should always be visible in the sight glass. The output is controlled by moving the lever across the front of the vaporizer. It is filled by unscrewing the cap and there is a funnel supplied to assist filling. This vaporizer is suitable for isoflurane or halothane. Either can be used but only one at a time. A second vaporizer for sevaflurane is available on request. In drawover mode, room air is drawn in here, over the vaporizer, through the ventilator, and out to the patient. You can add supplementary oxygen to this room air to increase the FiO2. There is an oxygen flush if required, and this bag acts as a reservoir for the excess oxygen put into the system. If more gas is put into the system than the patient's minute volume, this bag will fill and an increase in pressure will turn the system into continuous flow. There is an overpressure valve to prevent the system becoming too pressurized at the front end of the system. The normal patient circuit is open circuit through coaxial tubing, although a standard two limb tube can also be used. The patient non-rebreathing valves are located in the control panel. The circuit is suitable for adult or paediatric use. The end of the circuit can be fitted directly to a mask or ET tube. Waste gases from the expiratory side of the patient valve can be taken through the scavenger in the 30 mil diameter blue tube. The scavenger is located on the back right hand leg of the machine and operated by a switch on top of it. If our patient is breathing spontaneously the inspiratory breath is enough to draw through the circuit because it is a low resistance circuit. If we need to assist ventilation, we can do that with the self-inflating bag on a flexible tube to allow it to be taken to the patient. Or if we need to go to the ventilation mode, we can set our breaths per minute, our tidal volume, and our patient pressure and switch on the ventilator.
The Gloucester Vent Helix ventilator is a gas-driven ventilator suitable for adults and paediatrics and for use in operating theatres or for longer term ventilation in ICU. The bellows is stored behind the machine and is pulled out for use. The tidal volume is controlled by turning the helix screw on the top of the bellows and reading the setting here. There is an on off control and a power on light, a patient pressure control and gauge. There is a breath per minute control that will provide a rate from 4 to 40 breaths per minute by simply turning it to the desired setting and a triggered breathing control to assist recovery after surgery. There are alarms for high pressure and a low pressure or disconnect alarm with a mute for the audible low pressure alarm. When the ventilator is switched on, initially all three lights show and the low pressure alarm remains on until there is pressure in the circuit. If we need to run a standard paediatric circuit airs T piece, first we'll need a higher gas flow, then we simply connect to the patient outlet on the control panel and as the reservoir bag fills and the circuit becomes continuous flow, we can operate our circuit as normal. In normal operation, the Gloucester Vent Oxygen Concentrator will provide oxygen up to 8 litres per minute at 95%. It also provides air up to 8 litres per minute. There is a reset button for power surges and there is an hour counter to show hours of use. There is an indicator light that shows the level of oxygen being produced. After a few minutes operation the light will go out and this indicates that the oxygen concentration has risen above 84%. When the UPS is running in normal mode, it serves two functions. First, it stabilises the power coming into the Gloucester vent and will accept voltages from 160 to 300 volts. It deals with any of the higher power surges. The second function of it is to provide battery support for the entire system. If the power fails, the battery within the UPS will run the Gloucester vent for approximately 20 minutes. When the power is restored, the UPS will automatically recharge. First connect the UPS to the power supply. The unit will automatically go into bypass mode. The battery backup is not available in this mode. To turn the unit to normal line mode, hold down the on button the display will move from bypass to line. To turn the UPS off after use, hold down the off button and the UPS will move from line to bypass mode. Then, when disconnected from the power supply and after a few moments, the UPS will automatically shut down. If the power is disconnected while the UPS is in line mode, the device will assume there has been a power failure and the battery will be depleted over time. If the electrical power goes off for more than 20 minutes, the battery support does not last long enough. If the small reserve oxygen cylinder is connected, it will provide a further 6 hours for the Gloucester vent. A regulator and cylinder connection are provided for both ball nose and pin index connection.